So here I am. This, people, is Switzerland. Beautiful Switzerland. And um, it's a foreign place to some. Some people will call it home. Me, I just call it Switzerland and I'm there. And it's beautiful. I mean, there's, there's these gorgeous mountains. Even the clouds are beautiful. It's all uh, very impressive. It's, it's, it's a wealthy country. Um, so, so uh, you know, if, if, if you have the money, it's all very pleasant. If you don't have the money, well, the Swiss don't really like people who don't have the money, but that's a subject for another time. The thing is, as I'm watching all this beauty, uh, and I'm with friends, of course, they're out there, you know, back in, in the house, a beautiful house. And I was thinking about love this morning, which doesn't mean much because, you know, I'm always thinking about love. I'm trying to figure out what, what is that word we use, and, and I use it so often because I think it is the main connection we have to what, what are called the, 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 the cosmic consciousness, you know, the supreme mind. But one shouldn't make things uh, bigger than they are. Love to us people um, means you know you, you have this feeling for for something, a place, maybe a country, but mostly I guess you know we we, we feel we have feelings for our fellow human beings. And then I was wondering, well, so how do you love someone? I had a conversation. Um, uh, at some point yesterday and I was thinking you are a lovely person I didn't know that person very well just thought well you're lovely you you are lovable and and so I was wondering well how do you love a person what does it mean and I'm thinking you know it's the the big theme of popular culture and all that but to love someone, you don't have to do anything. You just have to love them, which which basically means you know give up your attachment to what the other can mean to you. Um, it 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 just means um, when when you say I love you. make it feel realized that, that you're not saying, well, I will love you if uh, you do this or that, or, or you look a certain way, uh, you know, um, if, if you continue being pretty, um, or if you continue taking care of me, uh, I love you if you kiss me. It's just, you know, I love you because I love you because you are lovable. I think it's quite that simple. And of course, we often meet people, I often meet people, let's be clear about that, that I think, well, you're an asshole, basically. But then I realize they're just like me. And if they're being an asshole, then, you know, if I'm in the company of these people, what does that say about me and I guess it doesn't say anything about me it just means I see something there that I do not like uh, and I judge it and that judgment doesn't say anything about the other person they may not even know that I'm judging them it only tells me something about me because I know that I'm the one judging and I feel that judgment, and I feel the emotions connected to the judgment. Uh, and usually that doesn't make me feel very good. And, and then I start judging myself, saying, well, um, well, I must be a horrible person uh, to judge so harshly this, 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 this other person who's having their own struggles, you know, they're uh, going through their own private hell. Um, and then I'm caught in a loop of, of judgment and, and, and re-judgment. 
and I'm these days I'm just thinking that that is just another form of attachment to something I know and and this might go for you too uh, you know all your uh, well all I wouldn't say all but a lot of the feelings we have and a lot of the emotions we're so very um, uh, conflicted by it now but we, we we're so wrapped up in that just attachments to something that we know to to a state we have felt in the past and we recreate that state and wouldn't it be great if we could just let go of that and then the question arises okay so okay great so you're attached to these feelings you have all these feelings so how do you let go of them and maybe it's just like love um, because it is all about love it's life is about finding this kind of love where you say well I don't have to do anything I just love and so when when thinking about judgment and attachment maybe it's the same thing you don't have to do anything to get rid of them um, you just let go and you stop judging either others or yourself and when the the attachment is gone then what comes flooding in is love because you know love really is all around it is the it is the state of the world it is what the what the cosmic consciousness um, propels yeah I guess that's the word love is what what propels the supreme mind to find out what what it can be okay now I'm drifting off into something completely different so I'll just keep it at that love you <laughs>